How to check the week one best learning experience activity. I know I covered this in another video, but now that a student has posted to that week one best learning experience uh, activity, I wanted to show you what it's like. So I see this little black cloud in, in the cell of one of my students. I click on the cloud in the corner and I click on more details in speed grader, which opens another tab of the speed grader. There's the grade book and here's the speed grader. Notice I can see what this student said. So it's right there before my very eyes that I can read. Now this assignment did not require any responses. There's no response required. They just needed to post their uh, best learning experience and this one was very interesting to read. So if I were her TA, I would be able to come now. I don't have to wait till after the due date because she's already submitted it and I could click on the drop down arrow beside grade and click on completed. A complete. She's finished it. And then if I wanted to put in a comment, excuse me, I'll get off of that. If I wanted to put in a comment, I could click here and type or leave a, leave a media comment and then submit the comment. If you don't submit the comment, if you don't make a comment, you don't have to worry about that submit comment area. As soon as you click complete, the system saves itself and the grade um, is activated. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this tab and go back into the grades area. I'll close this. And again, this hasn't refreshed. I'll, I'll click F5 on my keyboard. Not that I changed anything. Oh, I did change it. Oh good. Well, I did change her grade. Sorry, whoever has this student. So this one does have the check mark. That one is completed. The difference is for the reading, the week one reading discussion. Notice this student has posted, so I can do the same thing where I click on the little cloud in the corner, go to the speed grader, and there you can see her post. Now with this assignment, the initial post is due Thursday, but then they need to engage in discussion through the Friday, I believe it is. I mean, not through Friday, through Sunday. So you don't need to really grade uh, the, the week one discussion until after Sunday. Sometimes I like to, so I don't get behind. I do like to go in and read their initial post. Otherwise, it can get to be feeling overwhelming. Um, so I just like to touch bases that way and also in the regular discussion which I could reach just by clicking this week one reading discussion link from the grade area it will take me into this group's discussion where I can see her post and there I could choose to reply to her post so that way she's not feeling like she's hung out there. Not that you have to reply to every person's post. You don't. You, you do not have to. But that's one way that you can do it. So I would wait to put any grades in the week one reading discussion until after the final due date, which is Sunday. Again, this one has a rubric where you'll be seeing if all members in the group participated. So if this was group um, what group is this one? I can't tell. So let's say it was group five. If um, everybody in group five participated, they'd get three points. If not everybody did participate, you would give them two points. Now, I'll do my best to clear out any people who dropped a class before you're doing grading on next Monday in this activity, but that, that will help. Again, thank you for all your help with this class. It makes such a difference.